Hey guys, Shauna Steele back at you with another video for today. And I just hit 6,000 subscribers, so I appreciate that a lot. When I made this channel, I didn't expect hardly anybody to watch it, but the thought of even like 100 people seeing me, you know, start this whole journey, weight loss journey, whatever, and not hit my goal or fail was enough for me. Cause I was like, I don't even want 100 people to see me suck at what I'm trying to do. So, I mean, it's been really great, and I, I didn't expect it, but I really appreciate each and every one of you, because I think I have over a half a million views in the last 28 days at this point, which is just freaking crazy to me. But, as someone who's on his own journey to get below 300 since the first time since I was probably, what, 13, 14 years old, something like that, that was the last time I was under 300, I wanted to check out this video for today, Deanna's journey to get below 500 for the first time in years and see what's going on with her. So let's check it out, guys. So today you're 601 pounds. Yes. All right. So what is your ability now to be able to get up and walk? I don't have a lot of Not distance much. in walking because my knees are so bad. Um, to try and put some of my weight into the walker. And so in the span of a day, how many times you get up and walk? Well, every time I need to use the bathroom. That was pretty damn much all I was walking unless I absolutely friggin' had to, which is sad to say. And looking back on it, I don't know how I ever friggin' live like that. But I even had a cane for when my back was bothering me that much. And I threw that thing away a long time ago. I barely used it anyway because it was just super embarrassing for me to walk with a cane. But I definitely had one, and I definitely only walked to the kitchen or the bathroom. That was like the extent of my activity. So I know exactly what she's dealing with. So, four or five. So, you don't move much, really, huh? I haven't been, no. So, at this point, you're not a candidate for surgery, but you want to go ahead and make some uh, changes and eat uh, only high-protein diet. Okay. Avoid all the carbohydrate and stick with the total calorie diet a day. Wow. Oh. You know, I've actually been thinking about going back to the low-carb because that was the diet that worked quickest to me. And right now with my calorie calculator, it's telling me I'm going to hit my goal in June. But I've been thinking about going back to keto or low-carb or all that. It's just I've gotten kind of used to, like, treating myself with like a protein bar and stuff like that. Like I just ordered a hundred dollars worth of protein bars for after I lift in the morning. But I guarantee she's not gonna like the changes or his diet and nobody likes hearing only have 1200 calories. But me and her were pretty damn much on the same activity level if she was only walking to the bathroom. Cause I remember being like, this is friggin' like way too much info, but I would like have to get up to go pee and I'd be like, damn man, I really don't feel like getting up to pee. So I would even drink less liquid so I didn't have to get up and go to the bathroom that much. Like I was down that bad. Okay. So the type of food that you need uh, to avoid, candy, cookies, sweets, chocolate. Peanut butter cups. Peanut butter cups. <laughs> okay, that uh, would be hard. Yeah. For me, it was well, fast breaks. My expectation would be in one month, you should be able to lose at least 50 pounds. If we're going to keep it all the way real, when I'm still walking through the gas station and I walk past those Reese's or those fast breaks, I, I might get a little excited. I ain't going to lie. I might twist and knock something off the shelf. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I have to stay away from the Reese aisle because that's definitely the best snack, you know? Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you have to do this now because your body cannot physically handle any surgery at this point. So if something happened to you, there is nothing we can do to save you. Okay. Well, it's so nice much. to meet you. Okay. Thank you. We'll see you in a month. It's been a few weeks since I moved to Houston and had my first doctor's appointment. You hardly ever see anyone who do like on this show that doesn't have one of those CPAPs or BiPAP machines. I have one, I never friggin' used it, and now it's sitting over somewhere collecting dust in the other room. I fucking hate that thing. It sucks so much. I don't know how anyone gets used to wearing that thing. And I've been working to stay on this diet. It hasn't been easy, though. Megan has been making all the food we eat, so I haven't been able to eat any of the foods I want. She's struggling a lot more than me. It's a big adjustment, but I know I have to do this. 
seeing her just walk like that, I'm realizing maybe I was just way too friggin' lazy because I could at least walk. Like, I might have bounced around and held onto the wall or something, but I could walk. Damn, this woman's caked up too. All her Reese's is going straight to the back. <laughs> the way I was eating in Seattle was really toxic. Lots of pizza, lots of Mexican food, lots of delivery. My diet from when I was in Seattle to now is night and day from super unhealthy to very healthy. And I'm well, at least she's trying, but I mean, a lot of people at that size, like it becomes a convenience thing where you don't have to cook or you like get fast food. It's just convenient. It's super easy. You don't have to stand there and cook because standing friggin' hurts at that size. Everything hurts at that size. She's complaining about her knees and she's got that little walker. I'm surprised she ain't got a scooty bike at this point because she's big enough. She probably could use one, whatever, get around a lot easier. But at least she's pushing herself to walk because a lot of people won't even push themselves to do that. I'm just so pleased with that. Before I started this transition, this plate would have just been absolutely heaping with food. Mm. And when I was finished with this plate, there would have been a dessert or maybe two to eat afterwards. Are you done? I am. Totally? Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm starting to think that maybe I was in friggin' denial because I'm like, I don't think I was eating that much. I just think my activity level sucked that much and I would like eat at all the wrong times and eat a lot of junk. But my, like, my plates weren't heaping like they talk about. So I'm thinking maybe I'm in denial or I was just eating way more than I think. Like, I got to check out that show Secret Eaters that somebody keeps sending me to look at. Yeah, very good. In general, she's been doing very well. She is very motivated and very steadfast in the, the diet. She's been very good with sticking to it. At least but she's got I that drive. I know she's only eating right because we're making her. So I'm hoping if she's just able to get the surgery, then the changes will really stick. But here's the thing. Like, of course she's only eating that way because you're cooking for her. Because you see her level of mobility. What is she going to do? And it's not like, you remember that Thousand Pound Sisters wherever uh, Tammy got that cooktop from her sister and she was mad that she would have to stand there and cook because she could burn her stomach leaning over the stove or something. Something crazy like that. I don't even know where I saw that clip because I didn't show it to you guys. But obviously she can't stand there and cook. She could sit there and cook maybe, but like she's going to need somebody to help her out with a diet or at least get some kind of meal prep program or something because she's so limited at this point. It, obviously, she can't cook for herself. Today, I'm going to see Dr. Nalzardin again, and I'm hoping I lost the weight I needed to. Paul is going to help me, but Megan is staying with the kids. And I'm hoping I get to come back home and tell them I did it. That I made them proud. Hey, how y'all doing? Doing really well. Honestly, with everyone making all those sacrifices and cooking for her, and I guess that might be her son-in-law or something, just coming to her aid, I'm hoping she hit her goal too. Because you don't realize the amount of stress you're putting on other people that are just trying to help you, and then to not commit and not try hard at that point on top of that, it's almost like you're spitting in their face. So I hope she's really not sneaking food behind their back because it looks like they're trying pretty hard for her. Oh. Okay. All right. So you... You lost like uh, 44 pounds? I know. I'm absolutely thrilled. Did Which is great, for you yeah. to lose that weight? No. I've just been sticking to the plan as much as possible. Since we've been in the house, it's been easier because we have control of the food more. Okay, well, that is a positive change. And I'm proud of you for that. But you still should have been able to make a little bit more progress. 44 pounds is still good. Like, she should definitely pat herself on the back for 44 pounds. But Dr. Now is saying that she could have lost way more on his diet. And she could have. Don't get me wrong. She could have. I don't think I was losing 44 pounds on my best month doing my lazy keto diet. But, like, I'm not patting myself on the back for 30 or 40 at that point. But... Like, she could have done a little more. When you're bigger, it's easier. So you guys hear that 44 pounds, you're like, damn, doctor, now don't care for 44 pounds? Like, I would kill to lose 44 pounds. But no, like, she could have lost more is what he's getting at. And he wants, doctor now is an all or nothing doctor. Like, he wants you to make a huge commitment. Don't play around. Don't waste, like, don't waste his time. He's old enough. He ain't got time to waste. So, yeah, he wants that big number off the bat. Um, how's your level of activity? That needs to improve. I tried walking, and with my bone-on-bone -bone knee, that wasn't a good idea. 
how about uh, doing upper body exercise? Yeah, I've got some light weights that I can do. Okay. Diana has done well. It's not 50 pounds, but it is good progress. I mean, anything you can do physically at that point, because obviously she's not really mobile on her legs, but she could be trying. She could get one of them little bikes that you sit down and like, you know, just spin right there sitting like at your desk or something people have at work. But she seems like she's pretty content with that 44 pounds. I would be happy with that too. Like, I don't think that's nothing to like not be proud of, but she's not pushing herself to the extent he wants to see, I guess. But she still talks like she's in control. But this progress is more the result of her enabler changing their dynamic. And that's good. But she still didn't make as much progress that she should have. So you're not approved for surgery at the moment. Okay. But I want you to keep trying. And it's extremely rare for Dr. Now to approve anybody that quick anyway. Because if, if she didn't have that support system around her, I don't think there's any shot that she would be able to keep up. Like Dr. Now saying, the enablers have changed. She hasn't really changed. You have to buy in your own mentality. Like you have to be willing, you know, to make those changes for yourself. Don't just focus on what everyone else can do. Because I still to this day have people offer me candy or try to give me sweets and stuff all the time. Because that's how I used to eat. That's what used to make me happy. But now I just don't want it. So I'm not going to take it no matter how much it's in my face or nothing. I don't want that stuff anymore. But yeah, it, I think if it was in her face, she probably wouldn't be able to control herself. Just like she said, like if she you put a Reese in front of her, she's going to cause a freaking oil slick on the floor. Like she's getting all wet all up in that joint for that Reese cup. And I want to set up a call with your niece to go over the meals she's making to see what you're all eating. Mm -hmm. Every month you need to lose 40 pounds. Okay. This is gonna be the goal that we're gonna set. And if you stick with the low calorie, high protein diet, you should easily be able to lose 40 pounds a month. Okay. She could do it. I would like to see her making more of a commitment on herself and pushing herself a little more because she's not doing any exercise at all, like she said. Even though she's limited, there's a little bit you could do, like some resistance bands maybe or something like that. But Honestly, my exercise routine didn't kick up until a few months after the surgery. For me, it was strictly diet before that. Okay, stick with it. My first appointment with Dr. Nels Arden lost 44 pounds, which was amazing. I was absolutely thrilled. And then he said, go lose another 40 pounds this month. That's very intimidating. Uh, not really. And one of the things that's happened at the beginning of this journey is I've become more and more aware of how disabled I am. I mean, I don't think you were kidding anybody. Nobody thought you were up running a friggin' marathon or anything like that. So we all knew you were disabled. And you definitely knew too, if you were only walking to the bathroom and even then you needed a walker. So I don't think you were kidding anybody. Nobody thought you were out here swimming laps or doing anything like that. But they just wanted some little kind of activity out of you, some kind of effort, right? So some kind of accountability on your own, like where your family doesn't have to do everything for you. And but she's doing it I right think there. some days so. because I'm not very mobile and I can't exercise very much, I feel like 40 pounds is impossible for me. No. So what I'm doing this month is I'm adding in exercise and I'm not really capable of doing a whole lot, but I found a seated exercise video that I'm doing. So that's probably one of the biggest changes I have going is I mean, anything to get your friggin' heart up, heart rate up. I don't care if you get on Tinder, call some dude over, have him blow your back out for 10 minutes and just make your heart pump a little bit. Get something going, sweetie. Like, it's time. <laughs> now or never, we can get you one of them. Oh, my God. My friggin' grandmother had one of those, like, stand-up exercisers that, like, jiggles you and shakes you back when, like, in the 70s or whatever, when they thought those little jiggle things could shake all the fat away. But I don't care how she gets her exercise in. But hey, call over Romeo, let him pipe you down for a little bit. Do something. Just do something. Movement. <sighs> Megan also talked to Dr. Now, and we are on a stricter diet now. So they want to talk about Romeo, and she pulled out the carrot. Healthy, a non fat yogurt, eggs, iced tea. Damn, you ain't got nothing in that fridge. Now, there's only men in this household, so all we have is, like, practically junk everywhere. My diet is by no means good. 
I'm just counting my calories, like focusing on not going over that thousand mark. But it looks like she only has healthy options and she ain't exactly running outside to get it. But now with Uber Eats and stuff like that, you really don't have to go get it. So yeah, but she has healthy options in her face. So hopefully she's not like sneaking out trying to get other stuff from other places, you know? Broccoli. We had produce come yesterday from the farmer's market. They delivered, so I'm pretty much set. This month has been harder than the first. It's taken a lot more what willpower. The f that's Brewster's. Oh, yeah, she did say something about low-fat yogurt or something. We got a Brewster's down the street from me. That friggin' ice cream is so good. My friggin' mouth's watering just thinking about their ice cream right now. I'm not going to do it, guys, but I want that damn ice cream. It's good. Their cheesecake ice cream, oh, my God. Get down. <laughs> Hard to keep going. But I go back to the doctor in two weeks, and when I do, I want to hit the goal he needs so I can get surgery. Back at the car dealership. Let's, let's see. Thanks. There's I'm angry really lady. I hit my goal. Doctor now said I had to lose 40 pounds and get under 517 pounds this past month. And I'm nervous I'm not going to hit the number I need again. Did she get in them sheets and work off them pounds? You guys be the judge right now. Who thinks she did it? I don't know. But her daughter looks pretty nervous, so I'm not thinking this is good. Oh, it's a niece. Okay, niece. I don't know if I have many more chances if I didn't lose enough. She did it. Oh, wow, that's well, awesome. She so, that means I am a... She's nervous because she was tired of friggin' cooking. That's what that was. Because she had to make the biggest commitment of all because she's your primary caregiver. She's the one that's doing everything for you. So now I get why she was so nervous. But she knew in the back of her head that she was doing everything properly. But see, that's that's a big loss for right there. So you see, when she only lost the 44, she really wasn't buying all the way in. Under 500 pounds for the first time in years. Absolutely years. Which is awesome. That is amazing. You guys don't realize how friggin' good that feels, but the first time I was under 600, I was like, okay, let's go. That's like nothing. Then I got under 500. I was like, all right, you know, that's something to be said. Next thing you know, I'm under 400. And I'm like, oh, damn, this, that happened before I even realized it. And now I'm, what, 26 pounds away from under 300? Lighter than I was in freaking high school at this point. So I'm freaking ecstatic. Once I see that under 300, you guys will see a different version of Happy Sean on here. I'm so proud of myself right now. She didn't look And what? I hope Dr. Nazar <laughs> thinks Should it's I? enough for weight loss nah, surgery. Nah, I'm not going to so do it. I will approve you for <laughs> weight loss surgery. But only if your family agrees to stay here in Houston for a while longer. Man, could you see how much it's weighing on her? Because she's the one doing everything. And she's just like, Auntie, I need you to take some kind of accountability. Start cooking for yourself or something. At this point, she's lost enough weight. She should be able to do a lot more stuff for herself. So I think she should be trying at least because a lot of people let fear of not being able to stop them from even trying because I was one of those people who didn't want to get up and walk here or try that because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to make it back if I walked too far or something. Mm -hmm. Until you start dealing with the issues driving you to eat in therapy after surgery. Okay. And if they don't, I'm not going to feel comfortable moving ahead with the Damn, surgery. Damn, I feel okay? for her. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. But um, is that something everyone can agree to? Mm-hmm. Oh my God, look at the look on her face. Somebody just shot her dog. She is so upset right now. And that lady didn't think twice about it. She was just like, yeah, yeah, of course, everybody's in. Nobody cares. We're not even gonna have a conversation about this. Of course, they're gonna do everything I want them to do. They do everything already. But, oh my God, you didn't think it was a conversation you should have had with her? She's doing freaking everything for you. Putting her life on hold to help you get your life back. Damn, that's so, that's so selfish of you, lady. Like, I was pulling for you, and now I just feel like somebody should kick you in your, mm, damn, I'm not going to say it. All right. I'm going to be then nice, Sean. I'm approving you for weight loss surgery. Yay. That's so, awesome. So, y'all keep up the good work, and I'll see you soon. Thank you, Dr. Nazar. I just Bye -bye. feel for her. Oh, my God. Like, that's awesome that she was approved. Don't get me wrong. She did what she was supposed to. She's stuck on the diet. 
She started working out, maybe getting piped out by Romeo, like I said, or something, because she lost the extra 20 pounds. So clearly she was getting some extra cardio in there somewhere. Don't ask me where, because I wasn't doing it, guys. But her poor knees. Why didn't she even think it was a conversation to have about, yeah, like, because she's still doing everything for you. Damn. Like, congratulations getting below 500. I'm super happy for you. That's a big goal. But it should have at least been a conversation with your niece because she's doing everything for you. She's trying to help you out. But congratulations nonetheless. Hopefully, you at least had a talk with your niece and started trying to do some stuff for yourself and take some own accountability here. Maybe cook your own friggin' meals. Try to do something. But all right, guys. That's my take on this one. Like, comment, subscribe. See you later. Peace.